Allison, and welcome to Winter STEM Fun. Today, I'm going to show you four fun science demonstrations that you can do at home. Links to my sources will be in the description below. Before we begin, a word of warning, some of these activities can be a little messy. I tend to do messy activities like these in my kitchen, but you may want to put down a drop cloth or newspaper or something else to contain the mess. You could do these activities all in one day, or you could parcel them out over a week or so. Time codes will be in the description below to find where to start for whichever activity you wish to do. Now with that, let's begin our winter STEM fun. For this activity, you will need the following items. Ice cubes, water, clear glass or cup, string or twine, salt, and an optional something to dye your water with. Step one, fill your cup with water. This is a great time to allow your child pouring practice. If you would like to dye the water blue, add a couple drops of food coloring or liquid watercolor to your water. Stir it. Step two, add some ice cubes to your water. I'm adding five. Step three, take your string and try to pick up the ice with the twine. Are you able to? Hmm. I can't get my ice cubes out of the cup with just the twine, but look, I have some salt. Let's see what happens when I sprinkle the salt on top of the ice. I just laid the twine on top of the ice and then sprinkled salt on top of that. Now I'm gonna wait for about 30 seconds to see what happens. I got it. So why were you able to pick up the ice cubes when you put the salt on them? Well, salt lowers water's freezing point, allowing it to melt. However, the surrounding area is still freezing. So the water refreezes to the ice, which freezes the, to the string on top of it. Continue experimenting. Use the same amount of salt uh, with different amounts of time or keep the twine resting for the same amount of time, but use different amounts of salt. See which works better. For this activity, you'll need coffee filters, washable markers, a spray bottle, scissors, and something to lay the wet coffee filters on to dry. If you don't have a spray bottle, then a cup or a bowl of water will do. Step one, color all over your coffee filter with markers. Step two, gently mist the coffee filter with water so the colors blend together. If you don't have a spray bottle, wet your hand and shake the water droplets onto the coffee filter. Step three, 
Step three, set aside the coffee filter to dry. You can use a paper plate or a cookie sheet. Step four, once the coffee filter is dry, fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. Fold it in half a third time. Step five, cut out shapes. Step six, open it up. Hang it at a window for, us, for the sunshine to shine through the colors. So the colors blend together due to something called solubility. The marker ink dissolves in water. As it dissolves, it bleeds together and it makes that cool marble effect that you see here. You can make a whole bunch of these and hang them in your windows for sun catchers. All right, this activity is gonna take a bit of prep work. For the first part, you will need baking soda, water, something to approximate eyes, something to approximate a nose, and plastic wrap. For the second part, you will need an eyedropper, a bowl, and some vinegar. Step one, mix baking soda with water until it becomes moldable. You only need a very little bit of water for this. So parents, you may want to control the water. Step two, mold your baking soda dough into a ball. Step three, add your eyes and nose. Step four, wrap it up in plastic wrap and place it in your freezer overnight. Step five, place the baking soda snowman in a bowl or other container. Step six, pour some vinegar into another bowl. Step seven, using the eyedropper or other methods, melt your snowman with the vinegar. This demonstration works due to a chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. When they mix together, they fizz and make carbon dioxide. How cool is that? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You can always put more. Yeah, you can always put more. 
to fold your belt in. Uh oh, nice falling. For this activity, you will need cornstarch, water, a mixing bowl, and optionally, you can have some sort of coloring and possibly some tweezers and something to mix in. I am using acrylic snowflakes. Step one, mix two parts of cornstarch with one part water. I'm using one cup cornstarch to one half cup water today. Add some food dye or liquid watercolor if desired for fun colors. You may leave the oobleck in the bowl, or you may pour it out into a tray or a uh, plastic shoebox or something like that to play in. I'm gonna leave mine in the bowl today, but uh, at this point you could start experimenting with the oobleck. Notice how when you put pressure on it, such as trying to pick it up in a ball, it feels solid, but then it starts dripping like liquid. This is because oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. It behaves like both a liquid and a solid depending on how much force you put on it. Note to grown-ups, let your child explore this at their own pace. Never force a child to touch something they don't want to. If you want to continue playing with this, add in mix-ins, spoons, tweezers, and the like. Here I am putting in some acrylic snowflakes. You can go finding them with tweezers. Which is good for our fine motor control. My six-year-old loved running her hands through the oobleck while my 19-month-old really liked picking it up with a spoon and dropping it on the floor. Wow, those are all really cool. Did you have a favorite? Take some time to talk with the grown-up about the different things you saw, what you learned, and which of these demonstrations you would like to try again. 
Stay warm and happy learning. Thank you.